These sins keep seeping in They've left my soul at war within I'd ask you for an answer But I don't know how to begin here we are, uh, somewhere in Delaware. Uh, I'm on my way to Snake Creek. I just packed up the bus and decided I'm gonna go there and hang out with the boys, see what they're up to, and uh, you know, test my back out, test the bus out, you know, because driving the bus is hard on my neck. I'm already stiff, so I'm at Wawa right now, getting diesel fuel, and then uh, we're gonna continue our way down there to Snake Creek. So, should be a fun time. It's my first time really out of the out of the house, other than my backyard, in uh, like a month. Huh? Oh, he's deaf. 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 I'm dead. Pulling up on Snake Creek Drive. How's the creek looking today? It's looking low. Wonder what kind of stuff they did at the track. The track's been closed for a little while. Township's not really loving these guys, so they're trying to get like uh, it all figured out. But it's been a real journey for the boys over here at Snake Creek to make this happen for uh, for the fans. So here we are, pulling into Snake Creek. One of a kind place. Track looks meaty, looks wet, thick, thick. I think Dirt Hash is coming here. I can't wait to see what he's got for these freaking ruts, boys. Yep. It's just as depressing at Snake Creek as it is at uh, at home. Life's just all mental. That's what's crazy. It's just really all where your mind's at. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. It's gnarly around here, boys. Gnarly. Oh, here we made it. The rig made it. I gave up my sanity to save my soul. Back at Snake Creek, I parked here. So now I'm dialed the fuck in, boys. God save me, I'm fucked up. Got some sick ramps here from Travis Pastrana's house that the boys are gonna turn into something. These are sick, that's huge. Holy shit, they could turn these into a legit like half pipe or bowl. These are fucking narkel, dude. And look how much lumber this motherfucker got, dude. He can, he can go full skate park, dude. Pastrana land, bruh. Hello! Hello! Are you in here? Are you in here? If you walk in with your shoes on, you will get shot. So this is what it's like to be pro motocross racer, huh? Yeah. Downtime, huh? All the time downtime. <laughs> And what's that? Is that your telescope? It's my Bad friend screw, huh? Yeah, I'm a good friend. Ignoring my problems. Infamous dirt hash. I don't want to get bit. I don't want to get bit. <laughs> Stop. Think you can handle the heat here? No, dude. Everybody's so good here. They're so <laughs> fast, dude. I don't know, and they're so aggressive. Yeah, but you you got the 450 now, so you can handle. No, I you can. Have the 450 with me. Oh, you only brought the 350 yeah, practice bike, you know? Oh, that's the race bike. Oh, so practice you want to race bike. today? For I, you want to race these? Race you want to race for? Oh, look at all these ramps. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you want to race uh, for pink slips? Big Honda guy thing. now. Yeah, she's a uh, she's a steed, dude. It's fast. So that you couldn't keep up with Zach on your other bike, so you had to get a Honda just to see if that was the problem. No, I was only like one <laughs> bike length faster than him, and but now I lap him. It's way better than that freaking two stroke. I actually have power. <laughs> More oh, power, that. baby. He's hoping he's got underwear in here. I'm hoping I have some clean underwear in here. I know I have a bunch of, uh, a bag. I have a bag in here from when I went on a trip of clean stuff. I got like, all the underwear in here. That's where all your underwear. I got the cheetah ones that I got out of your mom's. That's perfect. But I had a blowout in these bad boys. I'm gonna make a million in my mug Look, this guy got a new gear sponsor and doesn't want to make a good, good edit because he's got FXR gear too. Well, it's a switch. So, we're just going to get this for the behind the scenes. Okay, that's pretty good. Is there actually. A hole there? Yeah. There's a nice hole there. Ooh, that's for the boys, dude, that might like, like that. I like that kind of. My boots are wet. I don't care. Do you want to smell them? No. <laughs> God, dude. Jeez, I can smell them from here, though. They're wafting. Dude. If camera could smell. <laughs> the crazy part is you guys have like brand new $15,000 dirt bikes and then 
This is well. This is my gearbox. Expensive, Throw my gear. Expensive in here. gearbox. Yeah, well, it's a traveling gearbox. It smells like a fucking gearbox. It's like a it's bigger a, version of a high school locker. Dude, this is literally like the work van. It's got like like sprinkler stuff in here. Just drive up to the sprinklers. And I heard and you've I been my, working on my, your uh, your RV. Well, yeah, we've gotten pretty far actually. Got some walls <laughs> up, some insulation. This shows later. Get dressed. Well, I'll show you later. <laughs> Passed by Chris. It's probably the first ever video of Chris passing me. That was good though. Yeah, yeah let that be on record. It's a fast pass. He's That's right. A few corners before that. It's all about the Honda, I think. Now yeah, he's. And uh, I have tinted goggles. I need to get the clear ones. Okay. Yeah. It has to be something along those lines. It has to be that. At least you're faster than Dirt Hash. Let's see what he's got around here. Cornering speed's pretty decent. Not bad form, not bad. Comes around this one, feathering with clutch. Is he good? Greased it, little pepper in the air for the fans. <laughs> Whew. Tracks like a national. Dude, you, really that, that pass you had on him? How was that for the fans? He, he's got tinted goggles. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm ordering a low line with a slice of uh, broken wrist. I hope not. Dude, do you see the there. line that he's gonna hit? I'm the, Dude, only the one all the way there to that one. Why? How do you? What do you go? No, you're not. I'm the only one that does that. It's so fast. Show me. Because I cut like four feet off the top of the flip. Chris is putting pressure on Dirt House from the back. He's in the rut. He's in the rut. Put pressure on him. No. Oh! That's what we should title the video. Doomsday what? at Snake Creek. Okay. Tweet what the title is? Yeah. 
Chris is gonna have to get a job next week. This is his doomsday. <laughs> Look how far they are up on their gas tank. Will not trade my soul for any fucking fortune. I'll hold my heart. For the huge movie stunt we're about to pull off, the Snake Creek movie. What was he? What was he going? I'm the, the pyrotechnician out here. We got Zach Kleptowski. He is about to pull the most epic stunt you have ever seen on YouTube. Watch <laughs> this. He's gonna go out here. He's gonna hit this big, massive freestyle ramp. Not very many people in this world are doing this right now, guys. This is the biggest jump you've ever seen, and it's here at Snake Creek MX. He's gonna hit this. He's gonna land on a big pool of fire. He's gonna land on the throttle, he's gonna shoot the fire, and it's gonna make another big fireball of just gasoline. Test run two. Wow. <laughs> Test run Sally. You guys are a match made in heaven. I think we are kind of a couple. According to his ex-girlfriend, we Good are. Thing out of the picture now, you guys can really get your thing going on. Make sure you put it. All right, that's good. What? Put yeah, yeah, yeah. Right go ahead. Go, He's go, gonna go, light go, it. Go, go, go. Go. Oh, the Chris. Wait to light it. Wait to light it. Do it all done. Uh uh that's so cool. All right, ready? We're ready. All right, hit it. We oh, missed he her. It. He overjumped it. Hit it again. Dude. Why is it every time you come around, it's always a bad idea? It's a good idea. All right, that's good. Now go all, no, he's claiming just go here and down the ramp. No, 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 right, just there. And then just in the track where he lands a lot, right here. Right here where he lands, just straight up and down. Got it. Yeah, all right, now, oh shit! It was so anti-climatic. So one thing he's done is put a column in. It's an artistic uh, column. It's not really there to support the thing. It's just there for looks. It is supporting a lot. <laughs> and then he's got the deck. Got porch. He, he got the porch. And then we got the shop. Loaded down with bikes. The fucking porch is gnarly. Well, well, yeah, we've seen the shop before. This is your Lots bread and butter. Bikes. This is your bread and butter. Yeah. Show, show the fans what you've been working on. This is nice. I'm liking the porch though, man. Porch vibes, Alex? Porch vibes. Yeah, we got her all framed out and so Oh, okay. We got a roof. Oh, it's looking like an actual in progress project. Okay, this yeah. is an actual. Yeah, do you sleep in here still, though? Yeah. Of course. And you just keep the heater on the whole time to like get the keep the edge off. Well, yeah, but it's insulated now, so it's actually doing something. But like for a week, I had a big open hole because I didn't have the window in. This isn't bad. I mean, it's a work in progress, but at least it's in progress like, now. Like, dude, I got a ceiling now. I know. That's like big. You're a fucking god. And look, I'm like, that's not open anymore. I got no, I know. You down. can start sleeping up like, there. Like, from last time you were here to now. It's, it's way like, better. It's close. Hey, you guys He's done a, a, a week's worth of work this in six months. Pulling on over to the RV spots. Uh, Chase lives in that spot. The spot next to him is vacant where I'm going to be pulling in. This is the spot that I'm I'm gonna be sleeping in tonight. It uh, looks pretty good. I'm pretty stoked on it. 
So here's the spot they're running the pressure washer. It's usually not this noisy, it's probably quiet. You got your plugs here, you got your one for your RV, you got your 110 guy, you got your water, and then you're set to go. You got your spot here. You have a little garage at this uh, RV spot, little picnic bench, and then a full fire pit. So I'm gonna plug in and get myself set up here, but this is pretty rad. How's your spot over there, Alex? Loves it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Never stayed over here in the RV park section. Uh, it's usually rented out fully, but it's uh, two spots just opened up. So we're here while they last. And if you want one of them, yeah, you might want one of these. You comfortable, dude? <laughs> Look pretty comfy. She's in sleep mode. But girl, she gets the <laughs> camera too. Comfortable <laughs> girl, yes you are. Dude, wind down time in the bus, feeling good. Dual heaters, electric, and the buddy. It's getting warm now, boys. Snake Creek's gnarly. Real gnarly. Right now I gotta keep a ton of vision. I need me a little baby who gon' listen. 